it's not that I don't want to be happy. It's that despite how hard I try, I can't bring myself to be happy. I feel suffocated, embarrassed, ashamed. Why did I have to be this way? I have a great family, amazing friends, good academic results on paper. Everything is okay. Yet all I ever seem to see is sadness and grey. It's like there's this burden on me, pulling me to the ground, and however hard I try, I can't bring myself out. I can't bring myself to care about anything, not me, not him, not her. Living has become this constant nightmare. And it's just not fair. Society will tell me to try yoga, go for a walk, listen to meditation. I tell them that this cannot be solved by exercise or medication. It's a disease that affects every aspect of my life, my work, my relationship, my education. And to this day, despite my best efforts to explain, I'm always met with blind hesitation. People ask me, why are you always so sad? I tell them I don't know. I don't know. What I do know is that I wake up every morning feeling like absolute shit and that that's become my norm. I'm afraid of the world. I'm afraid to put my guard down in the fear that I will be judged for something that I cannot control. Where's the fairness of it all? Do you think I like to watch myself fall into this whole field of self hate, shame, and love? So I hide and I put up a wall that is so high you will never see my pain or any of my flaws. I create this character. She is perfect. She's invincible. And so I carry on living these two lives, one for the public and one just for me late at night. Because that's easier than admitting I have a problem. And that's the problem. The stigma is real, people. And it will not go away until we realize that mental health is a big deal. It's a hidden disease that affects so many lives. Wake up and listen to the silent cries. It's a kid who never speaks, or the man who's always tired. The woman who's too emotional, or the guy who just got fired. Because he was absent a lot. He couldn't get himself out of bed due to his mental health, but do you think any of his colleagues knew that? Of course not. Depression is the hell inside of me. And it eats me up. Daily.